Lead can be one of the most dangerous contaminants in your drinking water. And tonight, a follow-up to a CBS North Carolina investigation in May. Our investigates team requested records from the state and found out there have been more than 6,000 individual cases where lead and water exceeded federal limits. Those records date back to 2005 and are only the ones that the state knows about. And of those 6,000 cases, dozens involve schools and daycares. Now, state lawmakers have introduced a new bill that would require mandatory testing at those sites. CBS North Carolina's Carly Griffith has a breakdown. We would be the first state to actually have a full-blown school and child care lead testing program in place in the United States. Sponsors of House Bill 1074 say municipalities are already required to conduct lead testing. And while schools are grouped into those results, sampling is random. Now lawmakers want to take a closer look at what children are being exposed to. We want to put a bill forward to at least determine where we are. The bill would only apply to schools and child care facilities built before 1987. That's when lead was outlawed for use in water pipes. Anything built after that is pretty well guaranteed if it, you know, if it had a construction permit and it passed inspection that it doesn't have that kind of piping. Children are most at risk when it comes to elevated lead levels in water, which can lead to developmental issues stomach problems, or even brain distress. The EPA says any amount of lead, more than 15 parts per billion, is dangerous. It's not much at all. I mean, it'd be like a, a probably less than a thimbleful in a cup of water. A CBS North Carolina investigation found that since 2005, more than 45 schools in North Carolina have turned up high lead levels, and there could be even more. Franklin County had two schools on that list. The district has since replaced their lead and copper pipes with PVC pipes. With this in mind, lawmakers are urging the passage of HB 1074. I hope we find no problems. I think we probably will, but I hope we don't. In Raleigh, Carly Griffith, CBS North Carolina.